Welcome to this Window Trader presentation, Market Profile, Is It Right For You? Before starting, please read our disclosure statement which basically states that this presentation is for informational purposes only and we make no guarantees as to the results you'll achieve using the Market Profile or the ideas shared in this presentation. My name is Doug and I'm your moderator for this presentation. I started trading and using the Market Profile in 2003 and began working with Window Trader full-time in 2009. This presentation originated in the summer of 2002 when Window Trader was invited by the Chicago Board of Trade to give several presentations on the market profile to members of the CBOT and independent traders. Based on the positive response of the attendees, the CBOT asked Window Trader to create a version of the presentation for the CBOT website. For those of you that are interested in viewing that presentation, it's still available on the current CME website. The topics I'll be covering are Trading's Context, Core Concepts of the Market Profile, and Resources for the Market Profile, also who we are. So how can you benefit from watching this presentation? Primarily, you'll see and hear how the Market Profile can help you interpret market information and identify common patterns of market activity. How experienced traders use the Market Profile to determine key reference points and make their trading decisions, and most importantly, You'll then have the information that can help you decide if and how the market profile can potentially benefit you and your trading. Then for those who wish to learn more, we suggest the following. First, start by reviewing this video and other resources available on the market profile. Then if you decide the market profile can potentially benefit your trading, go to our website for links to those educators focused on the market profile. And finally, when you're ready to find the Market Profile software that potentially works best for you, return to our website where you'll find the links to all the major Market Profile software providers. At this point, we want to be very clear that this presentation is not designed to teach you how to use the Market Profile in your trading. Our only focus here is to provide information that will help you decide if and how the Market Profile is right for you. Now let's talk briefly about trading's context. As we all know, it's easy to look at this or any other chart and think, if only I'd entered the market when it was at its low and exited the market when it reached its high, I would have made a ton of money. While that's true, the problem with that kind of thinking is that no one really knows for sure where the market's going to go tomorrow, a week from now, or a year from now. So if we can't know where the market's going to go next, the best we can do is attempt to discover, through interpretation and evaluation, where it has the highest probability of going, and then make an informed trading decision that minimizes risk and offers potential gain. So the question then becomes, how do we find those higher probability areas where risk can be minimized and profits realized? Well, we'd like to be able to give you the answer we can't because we don't know. But what we do know is that the market profile is a proven decision support tool used by countless successful traders around the world. Why? because it helps them interpret and evaluate the market's auction process, which is the source of market-generated information, information that reflects the attitudes and opinions of the market participants. This experienced interpretation is valuable in identifying and understanding how the market might move, vertically or horizontally, as well as locating where it might change direction. With that being said, let's explore some of the basic concepts of the market profile. Market Profile displays market activity in a graphical format that supports understanding and clarity. Just like viewing a floor plan quickly conveys a space's layout better than a verbal description can. The Market Profile is based on a standard distribution graphic or bell curve that illustrates how similar data tends to collect around a mean. For example, if we look at a group of normal individuals, most will be of average height bracketed on both sides by smaller numbers of those who are shorter and those who are taller. If we tip the bell curve on its side, you'll notice how this display of a market profile looks like the bell curve, with most of the data collecting around the mean. It was created in the early 1980s by Pete Stoudemire and Mike Boyle from the CBOT, and it's based on the bell curve, using letters to designate specific time periods. We'll have more on that in a second. Here are two of the most commonly used market profile formats, a collapsed profile on the left and an expanded profile on the right. On the expanded view, each column of letters represents one half hour of trading 
and each price row containing that letter represents where the market traded during that half hour. For clarification, if you look at a 30-minute bar chart on the left, you can see how it matches exactly the expanded market profile display on the right. This view of a session illustrates the range of the profile from its low to its high the same way a bar chart or candlestick chart defines its range. Here the yellow box illustrates the value area or first standard deviation on the bell curve, which is approximately 68% of the volume of TPOs displayed. TPO is the name given to letters in the market profile and stands for time, price, and opportunity. Now, while identifying the value area is important, the thing that is most important is the relationship between current and previous value, as illustrated by this and the next two slides. On this chart, we have an example of both overlapping higher value, shown in number one, and higher value, illustrated by number two. Here we see an example of both inside value and outside value. And finally, we have an example of both overlapping lower value and lower value. On this chart, the yellow box highlights the point of control, which is the longest row of TPOs closest to the center of the range, and it's also known as the fairest price where trade was conducted. Here we see the yellow box designating the initial balance, represented by the first two 30-minute periods, A and B, of the session. As a point of interest, many experienced traders set the length of the initial balance based on their trading style. For example, Many bond traders choose the first 90 minutes to coordinate information generated when the stocks open, allowing them to evaluate the impact of the stocks on the bonds for that session. Here we have an example of range extension, the market activity occurring above and or below the range of the initial balance. On this chart, we've highlighted both a buying tail on the low side of the session and a selling tail on the high side of the session. Tails, as they are commonly referred to, basically occur when the market attempts to go in one direction but is quickly rejected due to a lack of conviction or interest in continuing that directional move. Another term frequently used to designate a tail is excess. Excess is one of the two most important factors focused on by traders who use the market profile. The other is balance, which I'll cover shortly. Most traders who use the market profile look at TPOs to determine the value area and point of control shown here with number one. Likewise, there are a lot of traders who configure their profiles using contract volume as the basis for determining the value area and point of control. That's shown in number two here. We're not here to tell you which way you should configure your profiles, but just to show that these options exist. Now this is a merge profile, which is nothing more than the result of combining several individual profiles into one, based on defined start and stop dates. Merge profiles are commonly used to determine areas of acceptance and or rejection over a designated period of time. This is a cumulative profile, which is similar to a merge profile in that it's bounded by defined start and stop dates, and it's also used to determine areas of acceptance and or rejection over a designated period of time. According to many market profile educators, there are six to seven basic types of sessions, ranging from a normal or balanced session to a multi-distribution trend session. Here are four. Number one is an example of a trend session. Number two is what's called a normal variation session and it's characterized by features such as a narrow initial balance followed by two-way auction. Number three is a non-trend session due to its lack of directional conviction. And example number four is a multi-distribution trend, primarily characterized by two or more distinct distributions separated by single prints, which, by the way, are another form of excess. Another benefit of the market profile is its ability to provide displays of several types of opening price-to-value relationships. For example, profile number one shows an opening inside a value, which frequently tends to favor both higher and lower prices. Profile number two shows an opening above value, but within the previous session's range, which favors higher prices. And profile number three shows an opening below value and outside of range favoring lower prices. Earlier we said excess is one of the two most important factors that traders who use the market profile monitor and use in their evaluation of market activity. Well, the other is balance. 
which is the state of the market when it's primarily seeking more information before it makes its next directional move. Many traders, as part of their methodology, have a set rule to go with all directional moves out of balance. On this chart, we see four sessions with each one's range inside the previous session's range. Inside sessions are another form of balance, whether they are a session or a single period within a session. Here we see an intermediate term balance or bracket area covering a span of 18 sessions. And here's an example of a longer term bracket or balance area spanning 32 sessions, all within just two and a half points or handles. On this chart, we see both balance between the yellow lines and imbalance between the green lines. As we said before, balance is a very important factor for many traders who use the market profile. A trader's proficiency in the interpretation of balance comes from an understanding of balance itself and the potential ramifications of it in everything from an inside bar to a long-term balance or bracket area. We believe that once you become proficient in using the market profile to interpret the market's auction process, you'll gain an edge in determining higher probability locations and times to enter, make adjustments to, and exit positions. Learning to use the market profile proficiently in your trading takes time. You can buy software and learn it on your own or utilize some or all of the resources available. At this time we wish to acknowledge the CBOT, CME, Peter Stottlemyre, Jim Dalton, Dan Gramza, Futures Trader 71, and all the other educators, authors, and software providers who have made the market profile the charting style of choice for so many traders. For links to market profile educators, publications, and software providers, please visit our website at www.windowtrader.com where you'll find not only links to these resources but also additional information to support your trading. Finally, we on the Window Trader team have as our purpose to help traders make positive differences, differences in the way they interpret and evaluate market information, prepare for and conduct their post-trading analysis, calculate potentials and probabilities, make and execute their trade decisions, and think, plan, and take action. As a team, we fulfill our purpose in three ways. First, by developing Window Trader Blue, the market profile based software that supports traders in their market understanding and trade execution. Second, by helping subscribers capitalize on Window Trader Blue's ability to fit them, their trading style, methodology, and time frame. And third, by providing relevant and usable information in a number of formats. Again, don't forget to contact us if you have any questions, and thank you for joining us for this presentation. We wish you continued success in your trading.